All right, welcome back, people. We're here for part nine of Whitey Plays The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past on Dual Wield Gaming. I am your gracious host, Preposterous Whitey, as always. Well, not as always, because sometimes it's red. But anyway, as almost always. Anyway, so we just beat the Palace of Darkness in the last episode, which is the first Dark World dungeon. After some difficulties, we finally slayed the dreaded Helmosaur King, and now we're leaving the palace in order to forge ahead and get to the second Dark World dungeon, which the map suggests is the is the southern one marked with the diamond number two down there. I'm probably going to go ahead and follow the suggested order in this playthrough. I wouldn't necessarily always do that, but just to keep from making a fool out of myself on camera, <laughs> well, on voice, on microphone, we're gonna go ahead and stick with what the game suggests. Because you don't have to do the dungeons in the set order necessarily, but I mean, it's, <clears throat> it's pardon me, suggested that way for a reason. Now that we have the magic hammer, we can go south and visit more of the dark world not to be confused with Thor 2 The Dark World, released by Disney and Marvel Studios earlier this year. I actually never did get around to seeing that. Up until last week, I worked at a movie theater, so I could see movies for free pretty much any time as long as I wasn't working. But honestly, that had the, <laughs> the unexpected side effect of if I, was a, if I was off and therefore could see a movie... I didn't want to go into work to see the movie, so I wound up skipping a lot of big releases, just not seeing them unless, like, I mean, unless I really, really wanted to. And I like the Marvel movies, I like Thor 1 okay, um, definitely not the best Marvel movie by any stretch, but I enjoyed it. Anyway, but I just, I wasn't interested enough to bother seeing that. Just like Catching Fire came out the other day, and I am I am not interested in that. I, th I thought the first movie was alright. I never read the books, so maybe if I had read the books I'd be more interested, because, <coughs> pardon me, most fans of that series tell me that the second one is the best one, and that, oh my god, everything cool happens in it. I'm sure that's true. I'm sure it's a good movie. I'm just... I'm just... I don't want to go back there. <laughs> and plus, I, uh... Don't have any money right now. I forgot this puzzle has reset. Because we did do the prerequisite. We have to do something in the light world in order to be able to do this dungeon. We had done it before, and I figured, oh, now we don't have to do that. It's already done for us. Um, I forgot. This game doesn't quite have a very good memory sometimes. Haha. <laughs> So, I guess enough time has passed for it to have forgotten our accomplishment. No big deal. Just pop over to the light world with our magic mirror and open the floodgates. I guess it's never... It's never fully explored how the things that happen in one world affect another. <clears throat> but, it's kind of strange. I mean, the dark world is supposedly the sacred realm of Hyrule. The Golden Realm that has been corrupted by the presence of Ganon since he was sealed there uh, in order to keep his power in check. So this is his influence causing everything to be all dark. So why does opening a floodgate in the light world cause the same thing to happen in the dark world? I have no idea. Apparently Sahasrala's uh, telepathy can travel through dimensions though, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> the guy's a regular Professor X, I guess. Wow, killed all those guys in one fell swoop and got the key. So, in this dungeon, uh, <coughs> pardon me, I'm really sorry to keep clearing my throat, but like I, like I said in the last video, if you have a cold, sometimes you just can't help it. And, I mean, you might say, oh, Whitey, you know, wait until you're not sick to do your Let's Plays. And, again, as I've mentioned before, I've been sick for like a month and a half. So if I had waited 
all that time before recording a Let's Play, I would I would never get anything done. This channel would be dead and barren. Even more than it usually is. Because speaking of which, I um, you may have noticed I haven't uploaded for three days, I believe. It may be four. Um, basically, last time I recorded A Link to the Past and one episode of Yoshi's Island, I recorded in a big batch so that I wouldn't have dead spots. But it kind of... <clears throat> It didn't work out quite so well, because when I went to, you know, I was planning on recording on Thursday this week, because that was a good day, I had it off, um, uh, that was a good day to get recording done, so I was gonna do this recording on yesterday, which is Thursday, because today's still Black Friday, the 29th of November, um, <laughs> but anyway, so, um, I had originally planned to do that. Then, it, a couple of days before yesterday, which was Thursday, I realized, oh wait, Thursday is Thanksgiving, which is a major holiday in the United States, where you get together with your families and you stuff yourselves silly with food. Um, it's actually pretty much every day for me, except for the family part, so... Nothing too special, but I got together with my girlfriend's family, had a nice Thanksgiving dinner, uh, had a good time. But, uh, <clears throat> so I had, I had timed my batches to end just a couple of days before Thanksgiving, so that way I could record on Thanksgiving, well, record on Thursday, which I didn't know was Thanksgiving. So that way I could record on Thursday and have a video up on Thursday and not have as much of a gap, but I just, <laughs> I neglected to consider the fact that that was a holiday when I made the decision and... Thusly, I didn't get anything done. Spent the whole day with uh, my girlfriend's family. Then we came home at pretty late at night. Watched uh, watched a movie, and then it was it was so late that I was I was exhausted. I didn't want to record. Anyway, so I'm going to record. Um, this is still the same batch as my previous videos. My uh, part shoot my part seven and part eight. These are all being recorded at the same time. I'm probably, even after this one, I'm probably going to record one, two, maybe even three more. Just to give myself a huge batch so that this, these dead spots don't keep happening. If you've been stopping by the channel, uh, if you've stopped by my new channel at Dual Wheeled Gaming here, uh, thanks a lot. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Red and I appreciate your support. We're working to get more content up for you. Tomorrow we are hoping to record uh, some actual co-op stuff. Because I told you guys about it a couple of videos ago. We tried um, either last week or two weeks ago. I don't have a good concept of time. <laughs> just, uh, just as a warning. But anyway, we tried before to record some co-op stuff. Record some stuff with two commentators. And... The, it went well, except for the fact that we weren't able to actually record anything. The technology did not want to work with us, and we were just screwed over all night by various technical problems. So tomorrow we're getting together where we think we have all the technical kinks sorted out, and we're going to get together tomorrow and record a big batch of cooperative stuff, so that way... You guys won't have to hear just my voice all the time. It'll be broken up a little bit by Red's voice. Um, I think he'll probably be doing some solo stuff again here soon. Oh, in fact, I, I just realized I'm telling you about this as if it's in the future. Just know that it's Friday when I'm recording this. By the time you actually see this video, it'll probably be Sunday. So, <laughs> we'll have recorded and probably uploaded by then the co-op stuff. So I'll just sound like a raving lunatic talking about things that are in the past as though they were in the future. But that's what happens when you, when you record in batches. In fact, it's an interesting thought. What Let's Players don't record in batches? Because it seems like that'd be a really odd way to play a game. Especially if you do 10 minute episodes or so, or around there. I mean, I'm sure... Well, I don't think that many... Gamers, fuck, I'm getting beaten up. 
I don't think many gamers probably play games for 10 minutes at a time and then stop, do they? <laughs> so it's kind of weird to imagine someone playing and then stopping after 10 minutes and uploading an episode and then only recording again on another day and doing it for 10 minutes. Especially with a game like Zelda, it just seems like that would really break the flow. So, a lot of Let's Players probably do it in batches, but they probably also aren't as aren't quite as transparent about it as I am. But then <coughs> that's just so I don't trip up and stop making sense on you guys. We gotta deactivate the gotta hit the switch to make the <coughs> pardon me the orange blocks be down instead of the blue blocks. I believe is what we need to do. So backtrack a little here. So avoid the spiky guy. And once we can get back over there, we should be good to go. So we're hoping to do some cooperative stuff. We'll probably do Final Fight, like we planned to do on the first time that we got together. So, hope you guys like seeing some Final Fight. I've not played it in a really long time, but... It's a beat em up, so if I can walk to the right and punch dudes, I should be pretty okay. Maybe do some Kirby. Kirby Superstar at some point. Maybe if not tomorrow, then maybe on a different recording session. I'm just... I'm honestly really in the mood for that game. Could really go for that. So hopefully Red will be down for it too. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Cough again. I think I got it out of my system though, so I should be good for the rest of the video. Fingers crossed. So we're gonna drop down here now that the orange blocks are lowered, so we can proceed in the dungeon. Because I know how much you guys probably dislike watching me wander around randomly not knowing where to go. So what's in here? The big key already. We're, uh... If you don't mind me saying, don't mind me tooting on my own horn, we're kind of blowing through this dungeon. Either that or it's just shorter than I remember it, but either way, we're doing pretty well. We're doing a, <clears throat> a lot better than we were in the Palace of Darkness when we just kind of wandered around aimlessly looking for keys for about 10 minutes before I figured out what to do. So honestly, <clears throat> A Link Between Worlds, to go back to that well, it's honestly probably like, my third favorite Zelda game, which really surprises me. I gotta wait for my hype to die down and for my head to be a little clearer on that because, I mean, you're always gonna really like whatever you've done most recently. It's always gonna be your favorite. But, honestly, I don't see it changing. I think <clears throat> this right here, A Link to the Past, this is my second favorite Zelda game. And I think that... And my first is Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 64. I think that's a wonderful game. But I think that A Link Between Worlds is now in the number three position. It took the place of... Oh, jeez. It's a hard decision. It's either... The one that used to be number three was either Ocarina of Time or Twilight Princess, because I'm one of the six people on Earth who still likes Twilight Princess. I like it a lot. <laughs> So it's, it's one of those. But anyway, I think it's definitely Majora's Mask, A Link to the Past, and now A Link Between Worlds. I thought they just did a fabulous job with that game. I hate these little statues that shoot lasers at you. They're assholes. And I think I'm gonna die from them. <clears throat> not cool, guys. It's not cool to kill a guy who's just trying to have a little adventure have a little adventure in his life. Does this do anything? No. Okay, so... Now to play the... <clears throat> the once an episode game of what the fuck will Whitey do about this? Can I go down here? And if so, what does it do? Huh. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to get that door open. I'm 
not sure how to get that door open. And I'm definitely going to die before I figure it out. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I bet the same switch over here. I bet that'll open that other door too. Gotta wait for that guy to stop being so sparky so I can... God damn it, come on. There we go. So I can depress the switch. And I hope I'm right, fingers crossed. Yes. Now you guys don't have to watch me figure it out anymore. <clears throat> so I'm down to one fairy. That's okay. I'm pretty sure... I don't want to jinx myself by saying it now. But I am... I'm pretty sure I remember the boss of this dungeon being pretty easy, so I'm not anticipating having too much trouble and having to die when I face off against him. I'm just getting worn down from having to battle through this labyrinth, getting hit by fireballs from every which way and such. I could really stand to upgrade my shield and some of my items soon. I think the only other one... I think I can upgrade my shield and my boomerang right now. <clears throat> you can't upgrade your armor, you have to find those. Um, I think the blue armor is in the ice dungeon, and the red armor ar red armor is in Turtle Rock? I'm not sure about that. The red armor is either in Turtle Rock, or the... which is the la second to last dungeon, or the last dungeon, Ganon's Tower, I'm not sure. Are these guys little orange frogs? I think they are. I know one of these waterfalls has a hidden passage behind it. Come on. There we are. I was gonna say, don't have me say that and then make me look like an idiot by by being wrong. Be nice, game. I'm nice to you. I'm helping people remember you after 21 years. Because of me, four more people know about this game now. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> little pond skater thing is gonna make my day harder. Ugh. So, uh I hate how in this game you can't attack things that are on the water. Because, I mean, you can't attack them and then they can just sit there at the edge. And when you try to jump off, they just hurt ya. Seems kinda cheap. Kinda cheapy cheap. Kill that slime while we restock on our items here. Not that I think we're going to need any of those items for the boss, but... Except for the hearts. So strangely enough, there is no door. There's no locked door in front of the boss. I mean, there was that one, but there's no big key door. That's odd. I wonder why. It's not like you can get here without the hookshot anyway, I guess, so... so this boss, you gotta take off all his little purple like Cheeto puff things and they turn blue when they're not attached to him for some reason and you gotta slash him. Like I said, I mean, has this... okay, so now he's hurt me, but like I said, I'm not having too much trouble with this boss. If he does kill me, I still got one fairy, but I think maybe we can avoid getting hit one more time, I'm not sure. Let's find out. For some reason, when I stand up here and hookshot those, they don't hit me. But when I stand down from him and hookshot them, they hit me. I wonder why. It's a little weird little quirk. Oh no, he's gonna swirl that one last thing around him. So deadly. Alright, so now he's gonna start zooming around here. But every time I hit him, he's gonna... Ah, fuck. He got me. So, luckily we have that one more fairy. I will vow right here and now, we're not going to die again. Come on, let's do this. Oh, I have to concentrate a little here to avoid making you guys watch me crawl through this dungeon again. Come on. Don't make me look like a fool. Uh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I think he's only one hit away from death. Early Zelda games didn't give you the luxury of health bars on bosses or them starting to flash red when they're close to being dead, so it's hard to tell. Come on! Oh, I'm so lucky he missed me. Because I think two more hits him from him and I'm dead. Yes, okay. We were one heart away, one hit away from not fulfilling our promise to not die. So we're going to catch this crystal like a pro. And that mops up the Dungeon to the South. Which, it's strange. It's called the... It's in A Link Between Worlds, it's called the Misery Mire. But I... No, it's called the Swamp of Evil. But I thought the Swamp of Evil was the swamp to the west of here, in the lower left-hand corner of the map. I'm not sure. They changed some things around in that game. So we have our second maiden here, who's gonna give us some exposition about Ganon being locked in the Dark World and blah blah blah. This is the first mention of the name Ganondorf, and the fact that he used to kind of be a human before he was Ganon the monster. Um, when this game was released, it was set up as a prequel to the first two games, because this is only the third Zelda game. But it was set up as a prequel to the first two games, and kind of tried to give a little bit of backstory while also talking about things that happened even further in the past from here. So, hence A Link to the Past, because it's a prequel. In Japan, I believe it's called The Triforce of the Gods, though. And A Link Between Worlds is called The Triforce of the Gods 2. Which makes it kind of strange that they didn't just call it A Link to the Past 2 here. But that title also sounds kind of stupid. Anyway, so that's that dungeon done with. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called The Swamp of Evil. Uh, in, in A Link Between Worlds, at least. But... I'll tell you guys next time. That can be something you can look forward to. Thanks for joining me for this part of The Legend of Zelda. I'm Preposterous Whitey, signing off.